Hey bro, uh, yeah, you said you wanted to film me making some stuff. Today I am gonna make a belt, recycling some um, vintage trims. And I got this uh, Boy Scout style buckle. It's got like a polished black gunmetal surface and a matching gunmetal tab for the end. We have this awesome, it's like, uh, oh, that's the back. It's, um, it's a fuzzy, like boucle with a floral vine going through it. And then for the belt strap, it's gonna be just a regular webbing, like black webbing. Yeah, one and one eighth inches wide belt. All right. Okay, I'm sewing it. I'm sewing the two pieces together. As you can see the webbing's just a little bit wider than the, than the woven trim. So I'm just centering it and stitching it on the top there. Running the needle right, right at the edge. Normally you should pin it, but I just always go by eye. It's a little crooked, but it gives it a nice fucking handmade feel. I'm just going along sewing this shit on. Nope. I'm using this old steel Singer from 1964. This fucking machine is brilliant. This, this thing is fucking older than me. Whole thing's made out of steel, and it's a Singer. It's model 327J. Whole thing's metal, and I can, I can sew through anything, through belt leather, um, shark meat whatever cotton mmm cotton delicious cotton British cotton thread cotton yeah yeah I got it on macro so you can see the, the fuzzy pattern of the floral that I've stitched onto the webbing and I'm going to use my leather man to attach the buckle onto the belt here Bit. You just slide that over the end and pull that little clampy bit down and you're good to go. And for the uh, end tab, I gotta use the pliers. So you stick it on there, you line it up nice and straight and even there. Then you squish it on with the pliers. Get those little uh, teeth stuck into the belt. And now I got a belt. And I'm good to go and shit. <laughs>